We took a day off, got a hotel room in Marion, Virginia, did a resupply, ate a lot of good food, did some laundry, and got some good rest. So we just got dropped off by a shuttle driver over there in the parking lot. That's where we left our truck. We crossed the road and now we are headed this way, headed north. I'm AT. Let's see. Here we go. Off like a herd of turtles. beautiful morning. It was a little foggy when we were driving in, but here it looks really nice. But we've got a climb this morning, of course, so we'll see you down the trail. That's the first 200 yards of the morning so far. <laughs> so far, so good. All right, good deal. Here we are, that's where we came from. And here is where we're heading. Talk to you later. So we've been going about an hour now from Fox Creek where we started and uh, it's been a steady climb. It's really another carbon copy day. I mean, every, every day since uh, we've been here last Thursday has been almost exactly the same. Just 70 to 55, uh, some days don't get in maybe 65, uh, but depending on the elevation, it's just been perfect weather so we're enjoying it while it lasts and uh here comes debbie so we'll take off again talk to you later okay we're about two miles from the fox creek parking lot where we started and um, it was a steady climb up but it wasn't bad and we made it to the top, and I think we have a little downhill coming up, so we'll try that out for a little bit now that we've got our legs warmed up. Another nice little downhill will be, help us get our average up. We're, it took us about an hour and a half to do that two mile uphill, so that was with a few stops along the way. And we will let you know what we see as we go down. Talk to you later. Yeah, this is really pretty through here. We're starting, we're going downhill, but it's a low, it's not steep or anything. So it's easy walking, 
and we're walking through this beautiful, beautiful forest right now. It's, the sky's blue. It's probably about, mm, I didn't look at the temperature, 70 degrees, I guess, maybe by now. Maybe not that bad, but um, it's nice in the sun filtering through the trees. The lighting is incredible. So, anyway, just a pretty morning to be out for a little stroll. See you down the trail. All right, I know we talk a lot about the trail and stuff. I just want to kind of check in um, health-wise with us. It's not really health-wise, just... Um, my legs were really tired when we quit the other day. I was, um, I just felt really wiped out, but I knew I'd get stronger. And with taking a zero yesterday, it really helped. And my legs feel great today. And so I feel like I got a lot of stamina. I feel like I can do this. And I, I knew I just needed to, to rest. We had two good nights sleep and, um, even though it was a zero, we had lots of chores to do, lots of things to get done, and um, but it was still not doing this, so we were able to rest. And by the way, those of you who are friends and family that are not hikers and don't know the terms and stuff, we'll kind of try to educate you as we go along. Um, we took a zero yesterday, and what that means is we did zero miles. Um, that's just something that you have to do every once in a while just to shower, do laundry, all that kind of stuff, and just let your body rest. So anyway, we took a zero yesterday. Um, and another term you may hear us use is in that same vein is a Nero. And a Nero means near zero. So for example, we'd hike into a town, sleep at a hostel, get up the next morning and hike out. And so it's, um, that's considered a Nero. It's a near zero, basically. So, and when you don't put in a lot of miles, you're mainly going into town to get your chores done. So, that's just kind of a little tip education on that. Um, right now, it's really smooth. We've had a couple of rocky spots coming on this downhill, but for the most part, it's, it's, it's really smooth. So, I think we're going to stop up here at the shelter, do a pack-off break, get a little snack, and then we'll be on our way again. See you down the trail. We're at the uh, <clears throat> hurricane shelter. Uh, Blue Blaze Trail goes uphill that way, and then the water source is down this way. And we thought we had to worry about bears and venomous snakes, but no, we have these. Mm -hmm. So you gotta watch out around here because they have killer trees. All right, so we've come across this nice stream and uh, we get, went ahead and got some, topped off our water, um, came down here and uh, right here where this leaf is, Easy place to catch. Somebody set that up already. That's pretty common on the, these trails to have a little, somebody set up a little leaf from one of these uh, mountain wall or rhododendron, I mean. Anyway, it's a pretty little area. Taking a little, taking a little break, getting some snacks. And uh, so we'll head on. We've got about uh, 4.7 miles and about three hours and 23 minutes of hiking. Well, not of hiking, that includes the breaks too, which we've had several. We did run into a couple of guys this morning. The only two people we've seen going, in, they're going the other way on the trail, but uh, the first one was 71 years old and he looked great, was doing good. He'd done about 20,000 miles on the trail over a bunch of years. He's I don't know how many times he's actually completed the trail, but it's several. And then the uh, the second guy we ran into, uh, there'll be a picture of him, um, was 92 years old. His name was uh, 
What was his name? Slow Walker. Yeah, his trail name was Slow Walker. 92 years old. Very interesting guy. So, we loved, we enjoyed our conversation with him. And we probably talked to him for 15 minutes. Um, so anyway, we'll check in later. Such a beautiful area through here. It's just uh, massive hardwoods. I, Northern red oak. This thing is, you know, it's a big, straight tree. Lots of beautiful hardwood lumber in that. But anyway, this whole bottom is full of giants, aren't they? Yes. It's very pretty in here. I'm sure the video is really not doing it justice, but anyway, that's an idea of the surroundings. It's been a lot of this today. It's real pretty in here. Hardwood, forest, shady, a little bit of a breeze blowing. It's probably in the 60s. Let's see what we got on the thermometer. 66 degrees. Let's so there you have it. We'll check in later. is going to get hit in the head by an acorn before this is over because you hear them falling all around you and they sound like oh my gosh they hit me in the head that would hurt but at some point one of us is going to get hit with one we'll see which one it is place your bets yeah here she comes So you weren't doing great. <laughs> doing a lot better. I feel a lot better today. Good. I feel strong. I'm able to not go fast, but I'm not having to stop as much. So these are positives. They are very positive. Yeah. Feeling good though. Good. We're coming down to Comer's Creek Falls. Probably gonna stop here for a minute and get some water. Oh wow. Uh, Okay, it's telling me that rock's loose, so don't step on that. Okay. All right, we're gonna get across here and get us some water. See down the trail. So we're getting some water here. Oh, sometimes he scares me. Anyway, I'm getting some water here. Got a little pack off break. Saw that. Nice little spot to take a break.
it's about 5.15 now and we've gone 10 miles and we're starting to look for a, a place to stop. Uh, this trail's real narrow out here, but I mean, it's just no problem. It's a good trail. It's just a little, gotta kinda watch where you're going. But uh, anyway, we're starting to look for a place to wind down. Um, so we'll let you know when we get there. Talk to you later. How you doing back there? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Enjoying life. Good. So we've uh, we've walked down off the AT uh, about 10.2 miles. Not 10.2 miles off. Yeah. We've made it about 10.2 <laughs> miles on the AT. Then we took a Blue Blaze Trail that was going downhill. Um, and we found this spot down here. There's a little bit of a creek that's got some flow that we might be able to get water out of, but we're going to try to set up here before it gets dark. And we'll try to let you have a look-see at it when we get through. Talk to you later.